Hello and welcome to today's video of the series Light and Shadow. My name is Anemona Griesan and I'm a visual artist based in Vienna and in this video series I'm presenting to you a whole range of works on the topic of light and darkness. The work uh, or the two works actually I'm going to present to you today are the last ones from this black and white series. If you haven't watched the previous videos I invite you to go back and have a look because in each video I present you an artwork and um, describe uh, different ideas philosophical concepts, metaphysical concepts. And in today's video, I want to show you two works, one of which is behind me. But before I do that, I invite you to have a look at the first work, let it inspire you, open up to it and have your own approach, your own ideas, your own feelings towards it before I tell you anything about my intentions, why I painted it and what the topic uh, was from my side. One of today's works is this one, it's entitled The Opening and it's from 2016. It's painted with ink on canvas. And in this work too, we can see what we have, what I've described to you in previous videos and works. First of all, if you're not used to my, to my artworks, you might not see it on the first side. It's not supposed to be seen on the first side anyway, so that's fine. Um, these two structures here are actually two human bodies in, depicted in a very abstract manner. If you like, you can see the nose seen from the bottom here, the chin, the eyes or the front of your head. Then you can see um, uh, the rib cage here and the arms. And the same on this side. So we see two people facing each other. They're both enlightened, right? But you cannot actually see the source of the light. So where does this light actually come from? Where does it radiate from? And the only source we can see are these two people. So they are each other's light. The encounter of the two is creating this enlightenment within each of them or maybe they're just enlightened on themselves and they throw this light to the other one. So they are really radiating, enlightening the, uh, each other. And now the question is what are they actually doing here? What is that? Is this a dance? Is this an encounter? Is this a fight? Is this something where they, they are happy of meeting, about meeting each other or they are actually repelling each other? And I've talked about this in my previous video. This work also is part of a series on duels and duets. So this idea of a situation that contains both outcomes the, the fight and the dance and that depicts the moment where both are possible, the neutral moment in between where you can read the story both ways, being a dance or being a fight. And I invite you to have a longer look at this work and ask yourself which version, which outcome do you perceive here? Because it will tell you a lot about yourself if you see a fight or if you see a dance here or an encounter, a positive encounter, you know, where they fall into each other's arms or start to dance or something like that. So I chose a point 
in this um, artwork where I feel that both are possible and it's up to you to feel into it and, and um, bring into, into your awareness which outcome is true for you at this point in time. And maybe if you come back and have a look again tomorrow, it might be some, the opposite. Okay, because you're on another, in another mood or maybe have other experiences and so on. So it's depending and reflecting to us what we are, basically. And of course, this situation shows us how polarity works. Not only the light and the dark, they both need each other in order to be visible. So we have this light coming out of this darkness and being even more powerful through this contrast but we also see these two figures that have um, this role of of embodying the possibility of conflict and and peace so it always needs these at least two parts to have a creation to have movement to have a story if you see only one nothing happens stagnation right so our lives are our, or, or our reality is dominated by, by this polarity. We have two hands, two legs, two eyes, two ears. So this, these elements co-create co together. This is what I want to say. And now I'm going to show you another work that is very similar to this one and yet completely different. Stay tuned. This work was made one year after the last one I showed you and there is an obvious similarity. You can see the heads again, the nose here and the nose there. They are facing each other, com one coming from the bottom and one coming from the top. You cannot see the arms and the chest so we, are not, we don't know what's going on there. In a way we are at a stage of the movement of the story, maybe before the last painting or after. These paintings are different stages of a storyline. And in this one, we just see this confrontation, this encounter. You give it the quality you are. It can be both. It can, again, it can be a conflict or it can be a dance. It can be happiness about meeting someone you haven't seen in a long time, but it can be also very challenging, something you're facing something or someone that can be very challenging. You might be also facing yourself. It can be an encounter with oneself, like a mirror, right? In this work, which is vertical, in contrast to the other one, which was horizontal, and where both figures were on on the same level. In this one we have this hierarchy, this bottom-up or top-down situation. So the one down here seems to be weaker maybe than the one on the top. And it's interesting how potentiality, how the interpretation can change when you turn the works around. When you work with our with gravity, with up and down, left and right. You can do that with these works because they have this black uh, ba background and you don't have any clue where up and down is. There is no up and down. I wanted to show it to you this way, so we keep to this vertical version. We can see these very abstract heads made up of these uh, circles that remind us again of these energy lines that are in pu pure potentiality, like a wave and that materialize into a certain form that in this case is a, our heads, but can again fall apart, go into a state of potentiality, of pure energy, of vib vibration or wave, and turn into something new, into a new form, into a new shape. 
So these were the last two works of this series on light and shadow. I hope you enjoyed it. These works are on display in my studio and showroom in Vienna, so I invite you to visit me here by appointment only. I will put my email in the description box below. Other than that, I want to thank you for staying with me this whole uh, video series. And I invite you to go to my website and have a look on my works um, and let them inspire you on your journey of self-discovery. There is also a web shop with smaller available works. And other than that, I'm happy to see you in future videos. I will continue the topic of light and shadow in a different way and will talk more about the quality of transformative quality of light and shadow. So see you soon and take care and like, share and subscribe, please. See you soon. Take care.